Hi friends, I am Dr. Mirza Wakar Beg, your pediatrician. Friends, last year I had made I had made a video on green potty in infants, which became very popular. It was very useful video for all the young mothers, and I have got so many compliments saying that, thank you about this wonderful video, and it's uh, nice to share that it has reached more than 200, more than two lakh views uh, in just one year, and few people suggested that I should make this video in English as well because this is something important and the people who are not from the Hindi belt may not be able to understand the, uh, the content. Therefore friends, I am making this video in English and uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe because I am making useful contents on pediatric and newborn health and please share these videos to as many parents as possible so that everyone can be benefited. So let's coming to the point about green potty in infants is a very common problem. Almost every child sometime or the other passes a green stool and most of the time mothers are worried and the advice is given by grand, grandmothers, aunts or uncles. They are of the opinion that maybe the child has caught cold or the, it is the phlegm which is being uh, getting out from the in the form of green potty. So here friends, I want to emphasize that green potty is purely a normal phenomena. It has, got, it has got nothing to do with cold or illnesses and it has got nothing to do with infection as well. Let's come to uh, the pathophysiology of digestion. Our body makes bile in the liver. The color of the bile is greenish yellow and it is stored in gallbladder. Whenever we eat food, the bile is released from the gallbladder into the duodenum and the purpose of bile in our body is to digest fat. After digest digesting fat, the food passes down the intestine and the, by the time it goes down, the color of bile from, uh, changes from greenish yellow to brownish yellow and sometimes dark brown. That's why when we pass a stool, it is either yellow in color or it is brown in color. The more stool stays inside the body, in, inside the intestine, the more darker it becomes and the lesser time it stays in the bowel, the lesser yellow or even green colors may appear. So the color of the stool depends upon the transit time of the food. If the food stays in the gut for longer duration of time, it is going to be yellow or brown. Whereas if the transit time in the bowel is less, it will turn out to be a green stool. So this is, how, this is what happens in uh, infants and newborns because their transit time is very less. They are feeding every two to three hours and they are passing the stools very frequently. That's why the, the food doesn't get enough time to stay in the bowel. That's why the color sometimes is greenish. So it has got nothing to do with infection and it has got nothing to do with cold. Most of the mothers coming to my clinic with the cough and cold, they say that dogs are please give some medicine so that his cough is uh, passed through their stools. So I am my friends, I will want to clarify that in allopathic, there is no such medicine which will allow the cough and cold or the phlegm to pass in the stools as a green potty. So it is a totally a myth. There is no truth about it. It's a false misconception which has been created, which has been given to the mother, young mother by the grandparents, grandma, dadi or nani or the boas. So here I would like to emphasize upon the fact that passing a green stool is a normal phenomena, doesn't require any treatment. Now for a doctor, the color of a stool is very important. Green color, as I said, is normal. But if the child is passing a very watery stool and if it is passing more than 8 to 10 times and the child is becoming dehydrated, then obviously it is not normal, then you have to show it to your doctor. If the child is passing a red color stool, that means he is passing blood in his stool. Or if he is passing black stools, that again is bleeding somewhere in the upper intestine. So that is a matter of concern. So the color of a stool is important for doctors as well. If the stool color is white, it means the bile is not secreted in the duodenum. It means there is some obstruction in the liver. So if your child is passing white stool, if your child is passing black stool, or if your child is passing red stool or blood in the stools, these are the conditions where you need to worry about and you need to consult your doctor. 
and, and then the doctor will investigate the causes that what are the causes of white stools. White stools can be because of giardiasis as well. White stools can be because of cholera where we get rice water like stools. So these are the times when you need to worry about it. But passing green stools definitely is not a matter of concern. Sometimes we have seen that when the child is having dentition, when the teeth are erupting, he is passing lot of saliva. Most of the time the saliva rolls out of the mouth and, and, most, uh, and most of the saliva is being ingested by the babies. So if the saliva, only saliva is going into the bowel without any food, then again it causes the secretion of bile which is with, without any food. So it goes, with, it goes with saliva down the intestine and the child passes a small amount of greenish stools which may be a, a small stain in the diaper or it may be slightly more than that. But again, as I said, since the transit time is less, then it can lead to green potties. The third condition which can give rise to green potties is if the baby is not feeding properly. I have made a video on four milk and hind milk. I think I, you must, uh, I'll give the description in the link and you must watch that video as well. Breastfeeding mothers must have realized that when they are feeding their babies, initial part of their milk is watery only and that is known as four milk. Four milk contains more of the water content and some glucose content. If the baby continues feeding for 10 uh, minutes or more, then the milk becomes thicker and that contains more of uh, proteins and fat. That is known as hind milk. So if the mother is feeding the babies in a hurry, that means if the mother is feeding only for 10 minutes and making child to sleep, that means that the baby has taken only the four milk. He has not taken hind milk. Four milk is water, so if the water goes in the intestine, it will mix with the bile, which will be greenish in color and the child will pass green stools. Therefore, if your child is passing green stools, you need to concentrate that you need to feed your child for at least 20 to 30 minutes on one breast so that the baby gets four milk as well as hind milk. If, if the baby is taking feed for 20 to 30 minutes, if he is taking proper duration of milk with then the chances of passing green stools become very less. So therefore, I will summarize my talk into the uh, three points that one thing green potty is not a disease. You don't need to take medications for that. Avoid unnecessary medications. If you go to doctors and if you are worried, then doctor might write you something which will not be of any benefit because even after using medicine, your child will continue passing green stools. And if your child is, if your baby is gaining weight normally, and if your baby is happy and healthy, passing four to five green stools, you need not to worry about it. Second thing, it's you, it's a misconcept that the cough and cold is passed in the stool and it is because it is the cause of the green potty. So it is a myth. We should not be, be fooled by these misconceptions. Third advice for the mothers that you should breastfeed your baby for at least 20 to 30 minutes so that your baby gets a combination of four milk and hand milk and it will again lesser than amount of green stools in your babies. So friends, I think this talk uh, about green potty in infants will be useful to you. If you want to watch this video in Hindi, that is available on the YouTube about mid about a year ago. But please pass it on to those people who do not understand Hindi so that they can also be benefited by my videos. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Take care. See you.